Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today for our presentation on the future of measurement in digital out of home. A um, bit of a new experience for me, got to be honest, in terms of doing this virtually, so feel free to play your own uh, amusing version of video conference bingo at any point during the presentation. Uh, points for Wi-Fi dropouts, uh, 10 points I reckon if my kids uh, go into full-on meltdown at any point during the presentation. Um, so just to introduce uh, myself and my presenter today, uh, I'm Paul Sandbrook, I'm the Marketing Director for Rapport and I'll be presenting with Ben Zluf, the CEO of Uniled Solutions. Um, Uniled is the company that we've partnered with to develop technology solutions to help answer some of the challenges I think facing uh, our out of home industry today, uh, including obviously the topic that we're here to discuss, uh, the measurement of digital out of home. So um, we're going to be discussing our reportal product, uh, which basically uses Ben's Unilive technology. And I'll talk you through some of the background about how the partnership came about, the problems that I guess we were initially aiming to resolve, uh, and how it's developed to where we are today. I'll then hand over to Ben. Uh, and he's going to give you an outline of the reportal process, and then he's going to dive into some real-world examples from campaigns we've ran, uh, including a look at some of the new uh, and exciting audience analytics available to clients. So that's how we're going to structure the presentation. Um, and I'll start with the context then in terms of, I guess, the first business problem that we uh, that we actually had. So the first business problem we actually had was what we call the, the creative delivery productivity drain, which is a very catchy title, uh, but it was actually a real problem for us. Um, for context, as the number of screens proliferated across our streets, um, we saw a huge increase in digital revenue and a huge increase in the number of campaigns we were delivering on behalf of clients challenge we found was that there was very little standardization uh, across the industry and there are over 200 different artwork specifications meaning that clients and their creative agencies were having to resize and repurpose artwork to hundreds of specs and then deliver them to tens of different media owners all of which takes significant amount of time, both from a specialist point of view, but also from the creative agency point of view. From the client side though, there was actually real money being lost because often there would be problems with the artwork, problems with scheduling, which ultimately meant lost display for clients. So our first challenge was actually to streamline the creative trafficking process. The second problem that we encountered was one of transparency, so a wider digital challenge. And we felt there was a need for independent verification of ads being played and audiences being measured. It's vital to us that our client's investment translates into the display we actually expect to receive. And before we created Reportal, it's fair to say that playout data was sketchy at best with no set industry-wide standards for reporting. Ultimately, what this meant is that we may get playout data from some media owners, but not others. It was more often than not delivered post-campaign, and in the format it came in, it just added to that level of difficulty in measuring spot delivery, let alone translating that to actual audiences. So we designed Reportal to monitor playouts in real time, meaning we had the opportunity to spot and fix issues during the campaign, as opposed to weeks afterwards when it became too late. Which finally leads us to where we are today, uh, which is basically putting audiences at the heart of out-of-home pl planning, buying and measurements. So as the out-of-home industry continues to evolve, we now find ourselves with many different digital buying models. Historically, we may have bought a set share of voice across an agreed number of screens, but depending on the buying mechanic now used, spots may actually be delivered across a range of screens and across a range of different times, all of which obviously have a different audience value. So the question became, how do you measure exactly what you're receiving in terms of audience delivering? 
So we've worked to combine our play out data from Reportal with the latest iteration of Roots data, measuring spot ratings for digital out of home ads at 15 minute levels. And using MediaTel's Root API, we can now measure audiences based specifically on the spots that are actually delivered. So I'm now going to hand you over to Ben, who's going to talk you through the process and show you some examples. Thank you very much, Paul. Um, so, yeah, look, in developing Reportal, we, we really set out to resolve these two issues by building a platform designed to provide not only efficient campaign delivery, but also provide complete accountability and transparency to clients. And what I'm going to do today is firstly talk through the, the Reportal workflow and highlight both the delivery and data process, which enables us to measure campaign performance. Um, and then I'm gonna quickly jump into the platform and actually showcase an example of the data outputs that clients receive. So the first thing to note is that there are three users of the system. So you have Rapport as the media buyer, the creative agency and the media owner. And of course, the first step is to create the campaign. And Reportal is actually integrated with Rapport's planning tool, Unity, enabling us to automatically ingest the booking details for the campaign. Now, that will include the headline information, such as specific dates and times, but more importantly, the full list or full site list by frame ID and the audience data targets for the campaign. Now, once that campaign is created within Reportal, notifications will then be sent to both the media owners and the creative agencies, letting them know that the campaign has been booked through the portal. Now, the next step in the delivery process is for the creative agency to log into the portal and deliver their creative assets. Now, as Paul highlighted, historically, when a creative agency receives a campaign brief, it can be a very time consuming and labor intensive process just to collate all of the spec sheets for that campaign. And Reportal then aims to streamline this process by providing instant access to all of the production specifications for that campaign, as well as a pixel map template for each unique resolution. So essentially, we're just trying to assist the creative agency as much as possible. Um, so once the creative agency has downloaded their specs, downloaded their templates, gone and made their creative assets, they then upload these creatives to the portal. Now, on this creative upload, Reportal will automatically validate and verify that all of the creatives are according to spec and instantly notify the user of any production errors. Now, that could be wrong pixel resolutions, the incorrect duration or file type, etc. And the idea here really is to avoid any creatives being distributed and delivered to media owners that are not up to spec. Um, in addition to that, Reportal has a very sophisticated copy allocation tool and functionality to really cater for any complex scheduling instructions that the creative agencies may have, ultimately ensuring that the right content is always delivered to the right screen. Now, once the artwork has been successfully uploaded and assigned, Reportal will then automatically distribute all of these creatives along with full instructions to each media owner. And again, to highlight Paul's earlier point, this avoids the manual process of sending multiple creatives via email, WeTransfer or Dropbox to multiple media owners. So once the creatives have been delivered, media owners will be, be notified that the creative is now available for download via the portal. They can access all of the creatives and instructions, but also they have the ability to approve or reject the campaign artwork via a portal. And once approved, the creative is then scheduled and ready for the campaign to go live. And that leads us to, to the data side of the, the, the workflow. So once the campaign is live, we then start to digest the play data and ultimately are able to start tracking performance. Now, we know that historically, play out reporting was, you know, as Paul said, typically delivered post campaign. It varied in format and granularity between media owners and agencies and advertisers really had no way of verifying auditing or aggregating this data. So Reportal resolves this by firstly, it is fully integrated into the media owners content management systems, meaning that we can independently track and verify every play 
of every creative asset on every screen. And this data is then aggregated and presented in the platform in a standardized and consistent format. Now, we're able to further enrich this data now by harnessing the MediaTel root API um, so that we're able to translate this play data into the valuable impression data that we need so that we can capture every impact delivered on the campaign. And ultimately, the net result of that is that planners now have the ability to truly monitor, track and measure campaign performance in real time. So what I'm going to do now is showcase an example of this uh, data output by jumping in to a campaign within Reportal. So we decided that it was probably more appropriate to showcase a US campaign as, a US, as opposed to a UK one. Now, of course, this campaign um, being in the US is going to utilize GeoPath data as opposed to root data, but of course the, the principle is the same. So this campaign was a Royal Caribbean campaign that was booked through Rapport's New York office um, and went live earlier this year. You can see that the campaign was across a hundred screens, a variety of different media owners, and kind of a range of different digital screens from digital spectacular panels to, to, to New York subway live boards. And as a result, there was a variety of different unique resolutions and specs, um, and also a, a host of different content of which Reportal will enable us to, to preview and look at at any time here. Now, if I jump into the play data, um, what Reportal does is it firstly calculates a, a campaign target. Now, this campaign target is based on the booking information that, that we ingested from Unity when the campaign was booked within the system. The target place to date here is the same because it's a historical campaign. But if you imagine we were halfway through this campaign, we might expect this target to be 1.1 million. The plays to date then processes all of the playout data from each one of the individual screens on the campaign booking. And you can see in this example, we were received over 3 million plays, giving us a playout delivery as an aggregate across all vendors and all screens of 135%. Now, Reportal enables us to be a little bit more granular with this, with this information. And what you'll see below is a breakdown of each individual screen or network and the corresponding playout percentage delivery for the campaign at that screen. And what we can do is we can actually drill into any one of those and get a breakdown by day by hour of how that screen performed. Now, in this instance, we're showing plays, but what we're going to show you shortly is how that translates into audience. So to talk through this example, we can see that on any particular day and at any particular hour, we're expecting to receive 45 plays. By and large, we're getting nice, healthy overshow. But of course, there are issues where Reportal will pick up any payout issues. It will then raise a notification within the system. And again, to what Paul said earlier, enable us to take corrective action in flight. Now, as you can imagine, for each one of these campaigns, we're dealing with, with a huge towards the ability to look at the campaign analytics in a, a data visualization tool. So this first graph here is showing us the total plays that we expected to receive for the duration of the campaign, which is this pink line here, versus the total plays that we actually received, which is this purple line here. Now, as you can see, for the kind of first four weeks or so of this campaign, there was actually a trend of the number of plays that we actually received being under that what we expected. And it wasn't until around mid-February mid that we started to get a significant amount of overshow and where we ended up, as we saw earlier, um, achieving over 3 million plays versus the 2.2 that, that we had expected to receive. Now, if we translate that into audience, I'm just going to change the, the chart type here to show it similar to the one before. Here we're seeing now the impact 
impacts received, which is the, uh, sorry, the impacts expected, which is the pink line versus the impacts received, which is the purple line. And what's interesting to see here is although we were under delivering in terms of plays initially um, in the campaign, we were actually over delivering in terms of impacts from the get go. And that was really a result of getting a significant amount of overshow in terms of plays, specifically on the digital spectacular panels. And you can see that by the time the campaign ended at the end of February, we'd reached over 82 million impressions versus the 57 that we'd expected to receive. Now, finally, I'm just a little bit conscious of time here, but I, I wanted to show you how we can break down this data further and, and see how each individual vendor has performed. And you can see here that the performance on the whole was really great. Everyone was achieving um, over what we'd expected to deliver from 100%. But we can actually take any individual media owner and drill down and see the individual performance of any screen or network. So based on what I said earlier, you can see that we're getting a significant amount of overshot for the digitals um, and around a very consistent um, but not quite as much overshow for, for the New York subway panels. Um, we also have the ability to be very granular with this information. We can really take any individual screen and see the play out performance, match that against the audience values to get a real understanding and measurement of how the campaign has been performing. Um, that then of course will translate and what's really interesting for us is to see how the total cost compares to the total value received at the end of the campaign. Um, and hopefully what I've done is been able to demonstrate how Reportal is now really able to measure digital out of home performance. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pass back to Paul, who's going to wrap things up from our side. So Paul, over to you. Thanks, Ben. Um, yeah, just to end, I guess, with really what's next, you know, what, what do we see coming again when it comes to, to measurement? Um, so I think the first thing to say is obviously we started in the UK uh, a couple of years ago, 2018, uh, before as per Ben's demonstration, we, we moved into the US last year. Um, and ultimately, I think we see uh, a need for standardization. Um, around the world and around um, all digital outs of home markets. So very much for us, the next steps is having progressed from the UK to the US in 2019. Uh, we're looking to actually move this year into expanding even further into Europe and APAC for the first time. We're looking to run tests in Germany, Italy, Scandinavia and India. And I think just to kind of, uh, you know, leave on a on a very positive, hopefully, note. And um, ultimately, we believe it's really vital for the industry at, at both a local, but as I mentioned, also a global level that we resolve the accountability and measurement challenges in order to grow the medium. Um, from our experience, clients are passionate about the topic and are actively looking for solutions. And we believe that with the help of you know, the latest um, audience data from the likes of Root, the latest technology solutions such as MediaTel's API, and obviously Reportal, we believe that as an industry, we can do just that. So thank you for joining us today. Obviously, we'd have loved to have answered your questions in person, uh, but instead you can make contact with either myself or Ben, and we'd obviously love to hear from you. So thank you again for your time.